Now, before we get into eyeshadow, I want you to prime your eyelids. I'm using the Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion, but this step is important because it gets the skin ready for the makeup. It makes the eyeshadow last a lot longer and it prevents it from creasing on your eyes. So you don't want to skip this step. Just put a little bit and blend it out. Now this next step is optional, but I do it just because I want to. Um, what I'm going to do next is I'm going to put an eyeshadow base onto the lids of my eye. I'm going to use the NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in Yogurt. And what this is going to do is it's going to give a background to the eye color and it's going to make the eyeshadow pop a little more. So just your eyelids up to the crease. I'm just going to put this on. This is going to make the eyes, eye color more vibrant. Because I don't know about you, but on my wedding day, I want everybody to see my eyes. Because they're going to be looking at him. Alright, next I'm going to take my MAC eyeshadows. And the color I'm going to be using on my eyelids is expensive pink. I can find my brush. Here we go. And then I'm going to put that on my lids up to my crease. Now I've heard said that you shouldn't have sparkly eyeshadow during your wedding day because of the pictures and the flash photography. I don't know about you, but I like sparkle in my eyes. So I'm just going to ignore that and just do my own thing. But something you might want to consider when choosing your makeup for the big day. Because remember, you're going to be taking a lot of pictures and you're going to see these pictures for a long time. Alright. Next, I'm going to take Satin Taupe. Just that one right there. I'm going to work that into my crease and my outer corner. Again, with the sparkly eyeshadow. I love it. You're going to use windshield motions and circular motions. Then you're going to take color shroom, which is that one there, onto a pencil brush and I'm going to put that in your inner corner. Just as a highlight to make your eyes really pop. Then with the same pencil, you're going to take more of that satin taupe and you're going to run that on your bottom lash line. Then with your finger, get a little bit of the shroom and dab it on the middle of your eyelid. This is just going to cause some extra dimension and make your eyes look bigger. Just like that. Now instead of using an eyeshadow 
for the underneath my um, eyebrow. I'm gonna actually be using my highlighter, which is the NARS Albatross, just to tie my face in with my eyes. So I'm gonna pop that underneath my brow. Right. And then for eyeliner, um, I don't really like black eyeliner um, on like daytime, day to day. So I figured for a bridal look, you want it to be soft and romantic. So I'm going to use brown instead of black. And I'm just going to line my upper lash line gently. other side. Okay. Next is mascara. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to line or apply to my lower lashes. And I think this step is very important because when you do your lower lashes, it really opens up your eye. And all things remember on special occasions when you might cry to use waterproof mascara. On the other side. Then taking my uh, eyelash curler, I'm gonna curl my lashes and apply mascara. So funny, when I did this in front of my parents, they're like, what are you doing? What is that contraption? I guess it looks like a torture device. <laughs> but it's not, I assure you. One of my best friends. Curl the other side. Now, this time, I'm not going to do false eyelashes because I think you want to be comfortable on your big day. And for me, false lashes aren't comfortable. I think they're, they're great, but for me, they're too much of a hassle. So I'm gonna skip false eyelashes for right now. I'm gonna move on to blush. I'm actually gonna be using two blushes. The first one is Tarte's Exposed. I'm gonna put this all over my cheek. And then the other one is Glisten. Yes, Tarte Glisten, and that's going to go on the apple of my cheek. And the reason for this is it's going to add dimension, so it's not just one color, it's two blending together. Use circular motion so it blends in nicely. Now for glisten, pop that onto your apples. Now for the highlight, I'm going to be using that albatross color again. Run that along the tops of my cheeks and on my temples. 
because you want to not shine on your wedding well you do want to shine on your wedding day but not on your face you want to glisten you want to have a natural glow to your beauty and now on the bridge of my nose and on my forehead some on my chin and I'm going to take some of my finger and put it on my cupid's bow right above my lip. Next, for lip color. Um, you want to be natural looking on your day, on your wedding day. But when choosing your lip color, it's important to remember that you don't want to look washed out. You want to have some color to your lips. So I suggest going a shade or two brighter than you normally would, because in flash photography and in the pictures, you're gonna look more natural. So I would go for a slightly pinker lipstick than you normally would. This is Max Lovelorn, the one I'm using. to set everything and make it last long is to use a setting spray. I'm using the Urban Decay All Nighter Makeup Setting Spray. And there we go. This is the final look. Tell me what you think. Is this something that you would do on your wedding day or what? Let me know. Alright, thank you guys for watching. It's the end of my video. Um, I appreciate you all watching and I hope you subscribe and continue watching my channels. Leave me a comment and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!